Hey everyone, one of a kind night of one night gaming here, and this is my tutor tutorial on how to play Minecraft multiplayer in offline mode, as well as how to allow more than one person to play on the same account at the same time. Just so you guys all know, this is not a tutorial on how to make a cracked account, Th since this uses the files that you can download legitly on Minecraft.net. Uh, I hear a bunch of stuff about cracked accounts and things like that, and that's really not any. It isn't very fair for uh, Mojang and Minecraft and stuff like that. Um, so basically, what, what I did was just figure out how to. Well, it wasn't just me. It was something uh, I looked up and a friend of me was helping me out with. But um, this just uh, using one account, the different files and stuff like that you can use those files to um, just play in offline mode on a server so you can basically go online offline with a different name the main thing about a different name though is for example like my username is Fartha1 if I go on a server as Fartha1 which is my uh, purchased account uh, someone using the same account as me can't go on the same server with the same name so, in order to change the name, which is basically playing in offline mode, but in changing the name, you basically change like the account. And if you have a uh, offline enabled server, you would be able to join it under that new name and be like a different, like uh, you would have a different inventory and everything. So, first thing to do is go to your um, Minecraft folder. So you go to run, um, type in uh, percent sign app data and percent sign, which will pull up your um, app data app data folder and roaming for some reason, even though it doesn't show it. But this is also where you find uh, well, this is where you find your .minecraft file, which is what you need to click. And this is where you would also do your mods and your resource packs, and this is where your screenshots and stuff like that are. So, what we're looking for though is this folder called uh, Bonsher Files. So, if I click that here, I don't actually have Notepad, but I do have Sublime Text 2, which is pretty cool. And it gets the job done. So, with this, this folder thing right here, it'll show all of the different profiles I have in my. Um, in my in my versions folder like so so that's not what we're looking for though we're looking for something way at the bottom down here which is a selected profile which is my current selected profile which is 1.6.4 and it just has all this other stuff and then there's this little thing at the bottom called display name which is my current name. Now see if you want to play offline with a different name you're going to have to do this every time that you switch over to offline from online. So for example if I type in here nightly because I go by nightly as well I actually need to purchase that probably but if I have this name nightly and I play let's save this and we play that offline and then I go back online again as far as the one I'll have to ch go to that folder uh, or that that file down here and then change that again for the next time I uh, want to play offline so now that that's done we need to go to the internet and turn it off okay so now you see it's turned off and we shall open up Minecraft And as you'll see, it'll show the whatever pro versions you're doing here. But since I have it under nightly over here, <coughs> it says nightly over in the corner. And play offline right here. So if I click play offline and open it up, I'll be able, if I click multiplayer, it'll obviously show that it can't access any of these things. 
So then if I turn the internet back on, like so, then click refresh and then I'll be able to join these things. I'm currently signed in offline, so I will join this one since it's offline enabled. And I joined the server. And I successfully registered to PIM server. Do, 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 do. Anyway, so this is how you play offline on the servers. Like, for example, since I'm nightly here, I could uh, pop on a different computer and set up my FAR01 thing, which I do obviously have an account on this one. Actually, I'm an admin. But, um,. If I did that, then I'd be able to play with, my, well, with myself, I guess. But um, this method I use all the time for when I pull up my own server and play with my siblings, because you can set your own server to offline mode, as well as this uh, this server is in offline mode as well, or an offline offline enabled, which is why you need to log in, I guess. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions at all on how this works, just write me a comment uh, down below. And um, as for doing it without having to purchase Minecraft, I've not actually really done much on that. So um, I'll post the link to the download on minecraft.net and if you do download that then you will need the um, the jar file from somebody who has uh, minecraft like I mean I could probably give you my jar file probably if you commented to me and I could well then you, you could put that in your versions folder and run it and hopefully that would work along with that. I'm not really sure. It worked for 1.5 and 1.5.2 to do it that way. I've actually had friends do it that way and everything. But now with the new versions folder, I'm not sure how well that would work doing it straight off like that. Anyway though, uh, leave me a comment and uh, if you want any, if you want more updates on my my Minecraft, my War Thunder, World of Tanks, and Gary's Mod videos that I'm going to be posting, please uh, subscribe to my gaming channel. Please. Please do it. Right here below. Yes. Please subscribe. Um, anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. And I shall uh, leave you be. Ta-ta.